Hey everyone, this video comes at the request of quite a few people, but specifically my dear friend Katie, who even though she could drive a mile and a half to my house and come see these shoes in person for herself, she asked me specifically this morning to make a video about them. So Katie, this is for you. I'm gonna show you my absolute most prized pair first because this is the best bargain I've ever scored in the history of bargain shopping. There is a French designer named Christian Lacroix and he hit the fashion world he no let me back up as far as i know in my awareness i knew of christian lacroix before i knew about christian le bouton or however you say that guy's name um and i was at a dsw for those of you that don't know that is um sort of like a discount shoe place where you can get name brand shoes of all kinds um low end to high end for lower prices than you would get in the department store or the original store. So they had a clearance, they have a clearance section in the back. And I was walking through the section where they keep my size and I saw, now these are very dirty and they need to go to the shoe doctor. They have not been worn in a little while, but um, I saw these shoes. So just a basic kitten heel that's been completely destroyed. And this is a ribbon that needs to be cleaned and these cute little polka dot insoles. And, but I saw that, well, it wasn't faded, but Christian Lacroix. The box said these were originally $453, which 15 years ago, I mean, it's still a lot of money, but back then was even, that was a lot of money. Apparently the people running the store didn't know who Christian Lacroix was and discounted these shoes to $53. So. I saw them, I thought they were adorable, I saw the name on them, I said I must have them even if they don't fit, lucky for me they did. I've gotten quite a lot of wear out of these, I've worn these to death, I'm hoping they can be repaired, I'm going to take them to my shoe guy, there's a shoe repair guy down the road from my house and hopefully he can restore these to their glory. But these are the first designer shoes I ever had and oh, $53. And these are the most recent shoes in my collection. My husband and I were at the mall last weekend, he saw these in the window and said you must get them. And these are by BCBG Max, how do you say these people's names? Max Azria, Azaria, whatever. Um, and all, if I can find the name for the shoe, if they're still available, I will link all that below. Obviously those Christian Lacroix are long gone, but these are new for fall. They're my fancy booty shoes. They're just a booty with a peep toe. This really deep V thing here I love. I love the zipper with the gold here and some, like as I like to call them, ice pick heels. Just, um, I wear a size seven in these. They actually did not have my size in the store, so I went home and they had them on Zappos for the same price, and I got them overnight shipped for free, and they were at my doorstep. Um, a couple of things when you're buying shoes like this, that with this extreme height, make sure they're, um, that your feet don't fall too far forward. Um, another issue I have, especially with toes, with shoes like this, with this, peep toe is that sometimes it rubs on the top of my toe and the lucky thing is you can wear band-aids and put pads and all kinds of things to make your shoe wearing experience a little more comfortable so these bad boys will be rocking well I could wear them with some skinny jeans I could wear them with a leather skirt that I don't own but I could um, leggings I have some leggings I'd like to wear these with so these will definitely get their use they're more of a date night shoe I will not be run in the carpool line in them. These are Stuart Weitzman. And if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, I posted this on Facebook. I said, these are my dream shoes for the fall. And I got them. These just came out within the last week. Um, I don't know if it's called Nouveau, but it says something like Nouveau. Fire Quasar. I will just show you. Now, there's a reason why they're stuffed like this. These are from Stuart Weitzman, and in these I am a, I don't know, oh, seven. Seven, I'm usually a seven. Um, these are very similar. You're gonna see a theme here. Uh, very pointy toe, I love a pointy toe shoe. I personally think, personal opinion, that rounded toes, while perhaps more comfortable, make my legs look stumpy and my legs are not my best feature and they're not the thinnest and so I need all the help I can get and so I don't want to look like I have cankles any more than I already do so for me the pointy toe rocks. Um, another kind of ice pick heel, this is patent leather and it even has this like inside, the, it's lined with um, 
go a little silver, I don't know. My other pair of Stuart Weitzman's are, you've seen these before, but these are, and they're back, I think you can still get them at Zappos and they're on clearance now, so um, I'm a little irritated, but whatever. These are, these were part of their spring collection, which I don't understand why they would be, to me, this is a fall shoe. It's just a fall booty, a little tassel, and it's a new buck leather. I got these in a six and a half. Um, they fit just a little bit better in a six and a half. And so that's my other advice is always try on these shoes in person. Never assume that just because you're always a size seven that you're gonna be, or whatever you are, that size, it changes. Um, suede especially stretches, so I usually either run true to size or a little even smaller sometimes. Uh, the fun thing about these is that one sole says Stuart and the other says Weitzman. And I believe this is called the prancing booty. So I have waterproofed these and these will be coming out as soon as the temperature drops below 90 because we're still waiting. These are, were my birthday present from my husband. So you saw these if you saw my birthday video. And I keep coming up with excuses to wear them. This is just, like, to me, this is shoe art. Like, they're just so pretty. I just like looking at them. Like, I can put these on display in my closet and just stare at them. But this part is suede. This is blue patent leather. I normally don't like a platform shoe, but this one I did. And uh, it has a little ankle strap and the crazy shoes, or crazy heels, I should say. Um, these are actually not uncomfortable. And, which is, you'd think they were, but they're really not. The platform helps quite a bit. So the, the heel isn't as high. If you take away the platform, it's much more manageable. Um, I have worn these with my birthday dress. I wore these with jeans and a white t-shirt. I mean, you can really, just, you know, you can really mix and match. I enjoy wearing these with my Target jeans and my, get, and my Target t-shirts. I always get a little, I don't know, kick out of that. So we walked over to the store, and there's a gorgeous pair of black evening dress shoes and he said those are amazing and I just nodded my head and said yes they are and I knew what was gonna happen we went inside he flipped them over they were twelve hundred dollars and he said you've got to be freaking kidding me so um, the lady said well we have a sales section in the back and I picked up these were originally four eighty five and I don't think it marked it shows where it was marked down but I got them for about two hundred dollars so for Jimmy Choo pretty good steal now I wish that I had been a little more, less quick to grab them. These are just a very basic black, not black, what are these, brown, chocolate brown, kind of, I don't know what the official word is for these. It's a pump, sort of, that open back, sling back, I guess. The problem with these shoes, and I still haven't figured out a way to comfortably wear these for very long, but I'm still working on it. They have cutouts on the side. And this cutout right here, where your pinky toe is, where my pinky toe is, is cut in such a way, because I have a short stubby pinky toe, that it keeps sticking out. It keeps getting stuck in there, and it hurts. So, I've tried wrapping my toe with tape, inconspicuously. I've tried just wearing pantyhose. The combination of the two, I think, is the way to go. I wish there were some sort of way to like secretly fill this part in so that my pinky toe can't stick out, but I haven't gotten that crafty yet. Anyway, um, I will make these work because they're very beautiful. They're a lower shoe. I think this is only three inches, which for my collection is pretty short. But they're a very classic shoe. I don't see these ever going out of style, which is one of the reasons why I picked these instead of something like the ones I just showed you. They're very pretty, but I don't know how long they're going to stay in style. So for my first real official investment in a designer shoe, I thought I did a good job. The next two, it's hard to justify buying these. They, You can get copies of these. Every shoe manufacturer in the world makes a basic black pump, a basic nude pump. But I do attend a lot of meetings that have nothing to do with my YouTube life, with my volunteer work and business type meetings, stuff for my husband, social events. And there's something about walking into a room with a red soled shoe that just makes me feel like I could take on the world. Is it petty? Yes. Does it give me self-confidence from an external source? Absolutely. Does it help if you have to get up and speak in front of a room full of strangers? Yes. So I have two pairs of Christian Louboutins or Louboutins or however you say the guy's name, the guy who makes the red soled shoes. My husband still cannot figure out the name of these shoes. He just keeps talking about those shoes with the red bottoms. Do you want some? Yes. So, the first, I did a little research. Not enough. 
But the first pair of shoes, the first Louboutins I got were about a year ago, year and a half ago. And they are the Decoltissimo 100 Napa Leather. 100 meaning millimeter, so they're four inches high. I love these shoes. I will wear them until they fall apart. They are basic black pump, pointed shoe, black leather, pointed shoe, pointed toe, black leather, there's the red bottom. They are, I kid you not, they're comfortable. I can wear these, I can run in them. It's hard to walk downhill in them because you're basically on your tiptoes, but I can walk uphill in them, I can stand in them. I love them. I feel like like Superwoman when I'm walking around in these. I don't know what to tell you, I love them. I researched the Decoltissimo and I have a wide, not officially wide, but a wider foot. And Louboutins are not kind to wide-footed girls, but the Decoltissimo was recommended as one that is, and I adore them. The only problem is, I cannot get my hands on them anymore. In Europe, they still make the Decoltissimo, but I cannot find them in the United States. And now they only make them in like a, a three-inch heel and not a four-inch heel, which I prefer. So, woe is me, I know. Get out your tiny little violins. But no, really, I really love these. I think they're a great investment, and I wear them all the time. And I think if a woman owns only two kinds of dress shoes, she should have a pair of black pumps and a pair of these. It's my last pair to show you guys. These are my other Louboutins. I know they look just like the other ones for the most part, but this is a different model. These are the Pigals. And I stupidly thought if I'm a size 37 and a half in a Christian Louboutin, in the Decoltissimo, why wouldn't I be a seven and a half in any other shoe that is made by the same maker? I don't know, but I apparently I am not. So I could not find these in San Antonio anywhere. I ordered them online from Barney's and these suckers hurt. I felt like people were sticking ice picks in my toes. It was horrible. I was convinced that when I took my shoe off, even though I was sitting down, that I would see like that my toes were bleeding. It was horrible. Apparently, these are dirty on the inside. Apparently these run more narrow than the Decoltissimos. So the nice people at Nordstrom, this is how nice Nordstrom is. I didn't even buy these shoes at Nordstrom. I mean, I admitted to them that I did not buy these shoes at their store and they said, it's not a problem, bring them in. Brought these in, they have a steamer machine and they steam it and they stretch it out. And now they're, they're pretty wearable. I can't run marathons in these, but they're actually, they don't make my toes bleed, so that's good. I also want to show you a little trick here. I've inserted, I don't think you can see it because it's the same color, but it's a little heel pad and um, it just doesn't make it rub as much over here and it avoids the blisters. But the point of all this is to tell you some words of advice. When you're gonna invest in, in this case, a shoe, do your research, try them on in the store, walk around, walk on a hard surface, walk on a soft surface, try jumping up and down. Make sure that the shoe does not hurt, because if it hurts in the store only after a few minutes, it's not gonna get better, it's gonna get worse. Um, if you're going, I personally feel like, unless you can afford to get just all the shoes that you want, I like to go for the more classic pieces that I know are not gonna go out of style anytime soon. I could pull these out of my closet in 15 years probably and still wear them. I, I better, I plan on it. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for things like, can you stretch these out? Or I have learned your foot. I've learned through the kind people at Nordstrom that my foot runs a little wider. So there are designers that they're gonna steer you toward. Um, I have been told, I don't own any yet, but that the Italian shoe designers are much kinder to wide-footed people like me. And um, Gucci, um, Miu Miu, um, what was the other one? Even Prada tend to be a little more comfortable for those of us with peasant feet. So if you have any questions about the shoes or, um, you know, whatever, you know I'll answer within reason if I can. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that interesting, educational, at the very least entertaining. Thank you for sitting through it all and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.